Many of us are taught there are seven continents on Earth. But here's what's really crazy. There's actually no scientific definition to what a continent is. It's entirely based on cultural traditions and where you went to school. The number of continents is one of those facts we tend to accept without question. But it's actually a perfect example of how geography isn't always as objective as it seems. In some countries, kids learn there are four continents. Some learn five, six, seven, even eight. None of these answers are wrong. They're just different cultural perspectives on how we divide our world. Isn't that fascinating? A simple question like how many continents exist turns out to be pretty subjective. But wait, if continents aren't purely scientific, what defines them? Let's look at this from different angles. A continent should be a large continuous landmass surrounded by water, right? But Europe and Asia share one massive landmass with no body of water between them. Geologists might say that continents are divided by tectonic plates and continental crust. But that definition would give us way more than seven continents, including weird underwater ones you've never heard of. The truth is much more interesting. Our continent model is largely shaped by European cultural traditions. It reflects historical biases about which regions should be considered separate from others. That's why North and South America are often counted separately, while the much larger Eurasia is sometimes separated into Europe and Asia. It's less about geographic reality and more about how humans choose to categorize our world. Different countries teach different continent models with no single correct answer. But the real question is, what other geographic facts have we accepted without questioning?